Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries. I wanted to share a discovery, I guess, I made with myself and I didn't do this in like a plan with me style because I already did it and I just kind of wanted to talk through it to kind of show like how I've been working this stuff out. So this is all about weeklies and I have been doing the weeklies in my planners the same for probably a little over a year where I have like a time list of things that I'm doing denoted with little stickers or icons kind of catching my eye. I have a section at the bottom that I'll change up and do like habits or cleaning tasks. I have a task list on the side. It's kind of like a general task list for the week. Um, and lately I've been adding extra projects and a little rate my week section before I've done things like a happy moment section, um, a sleep tracker. Um, I think I've done a work tracker before even kind of like Helen from the coffee monsters co I've, I've tried a lot of different things in my weeklies and this has been the format that I have stuck with for a very, very, very long time. Well, I recently came across a video and I'll try to tag her if I can, but it was like just be with, I think it's U Udia. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce. Um, I, I'm trying my best, but she really inspired me to look at my weekly spread in a kind of different way and more of like a dashboard. So instead of having things in more of a chronological order, I tried this and made it like a dashboard. So this is probably really busy looking from far away. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and kind of take you a little bit step by step of sections that I made within this. I also made this very colorful and more artistic because that's something that I like, but this easily could be made very simple and it probably will distract a little bit, but I'm going to just zoom you guys in because this is me and this is how I want to show what I have done. So I'm just going to start with the top of the page here. I, I basically just wrote out the weather and the moon zodiac information, which is something that I keep track of um, on a daily basis. And the whole point of me doing a dashboard style like this was to more of see if I could eliminate some planners, which is something I thought I would never say in my life because I've been a multi-planner person for a very long time. But I really wanted to test this out and see see how I would feel after like a week of using it. And yeah. So yeah, the top is weather and moon phase stuff. Then I created a little box section here, just kind of following this line. So I basically drew a line like this here to denote this top section as events. I don't typically have a lot of events every day unless I'm just absolutely swamped. Um, so it's mainly going to be one thing in each box, um, maybe two at most. But on days that I'm more busy, I may make the section like bigger or something if I continue this type of spread. Um, I then also put my weekday stickers down from my shop just to kind of show a bolder sense of what day was what because the common planner ones are really faint which I really appreciate. So no hate towards that. I just wanted to make a little bit broader for myself. The next section that I made on this is kind of like a task list for my garden. So I have an entire planner system or planner, I guess, dedicated to my garden. It's this one. It's my N1 common planner. I'm not going to open it, but I just, I have a whole planner dedicated to my garden. And I found that having a task list like this, this week at least, um, was really helpful to see kind of like the main things that I need to work on for my garden. So making sure our chicks and ducks are doing well because they turn two weeks old this week, making sure that I'm watering our indoor plants this week because I haven't watered them yet this month. Um, also building our chicken coop construction has been a huge thing this week and last week, honestly. And then making sure our garden space is getting prepped. Like that's all part of my garden planner, but having a small little section in my main planner that I honestly update a little bit more, it's easier for me to see that and be like, okay, reminder, I need to go do that thing. But I will say I still like having a separate planner for my garden because I go way more in depth. Um, but this has been really helpful to see here this week. Also, I skipped over this section here in the middle, right here, right here. So this is where I put my workouts. So this is more of like, okay, I kind of want to see 
how many planners I can eliminate, right? Like if I can only do it all, all in one book, I'm challenging myself in a way. And so I took everything from my health planner, which is the N2 Sterling Ink, and tried to put it in this as well. So I have my health, or my health, my workout here. So these are like the different workouts that I either plan to do or did on that day. And then at the bottom, this is where I had my meals. So this is the main thing that I keep track of in my health planner is the different meals I have every day and then meal ideas or like groceries I need to use up in my fridge. So I just took the bottom section of the weekly spread and made it into a meal tracker in a way. I was really happy with this, but again, I think I still like having a separate planner for it. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of torn on this. Um, but anyways, I'm really happy with this as well. For this sidebar over here, I decided to make this long column of like habits and routines. So in a lot of my planners, I like to have different habit trackers or routine trackers where I'm checking things off, like how many how many days I did the dishes or how many days I did my reading, um, my language practice, taking care of our dogs and cats, seedling care for our seedlings that I've started in our greenhouse, like all of those types of things. I put it all in a long list like this on the side. <sighs> I don't know if I love this or not, but it was really cool to see it all on one page again, where I'm trying to like kind of mash everything onto one weekly spread. And it was, I don't know, it worked so far. I mean, it's, it's Friday, the day that I'm filming this. So it's worked so far with it and I can't, I can't complain. I then decided to take this little pocket right here that I left blank in a way because I put this uh, PET tip clipping from London Gifties and I put down a reading sticker from my shop saying currently reading, which this week I am currently reading Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, which is always, always a great read. Um, I actually haven't read it in a really long time and rereading it's kind of like seeing it in a new light and I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Um, but yeah, so I just took that little bitty empty space and did that there. Easily could have put that in probably a little block by itself, but the sticker took up enough space. So there's that. I then made a little section for main tasks. Um, this would be things that I'm just trying to get done this week that are probably like priority or considered priority. So I'm trying to get through my second iteration of my ink explorations. I'm doing a new moon thing with cleansing our house. I need to clean off my fountain pens because I'm going to be participating in the eight pen question and I want to showcase non-dirty pens. <laughs> um, I also need to prep for a video that's coming next week. And then this week was also Helen's um, from the Coffee Monsters Co. eight year anniversary sale and she had some items that I definitely wanted to pick up since they're kind of limited. Um, and then I also needed to catch up on my pen pal letters. So I have all those main tasks here in the center and I really like seeing them there too. I'm thinking in the future, if again, I continue something like this in a spread, I may move this task back over here to the sidebar where I was used to having it and move the routines and habits more over here somewhere. But again, I'm really playing with this, but I'm really, really enjoying having a kind of dashboard look like this. So I'm really happy I came across that video. For the other side of this page, which looks really blank because again, today's Friday and I haven't updated anything yet. I just really wanted to kind of make this video and showcase what I've, what I've done so far. Um, for this section, I did kind of like what I normally do in the sidebar, but a little bit different. So here is where I've updated where I have clean house. So these are Coffee Monsters Co. I think they're called like building your house stickers or something. Um, I have quite a collection of them and I just kind of line them up like this instead of making them in like a little house shape, but they worked really well to denote, okay, these are the different rooms that I want to clean this week. And I've already cleaned two and it's Friday. So I need to need to get on it to do the rest of them, but I'm really enjoying seeing them like this versus having them in a list format just cause it's like a visual difference. Then I had a section for packages and deliveries that I had going on this week. I had a delivery from Ghoulie Pens from their ink sample sale. Um, I have an Amazon delivery coming still. And then I had a Home Depot delivery for our chicken coop build that we're doing. I then moved my happy moment and rate my week section here. So again, happy moments kind of like taking it out of my health planner now versus my standard planner, this one but I continued my rate my week section, just pulling it off of the sidebar from over there and putting it into the middle section here. Really, really like this. I then had another little pocket up here and I 
just I have a problem with blank space I'm so sorry and I just wanted to put something in and I'm really happy that I had something cool to put here so the new moon is on Sunday it is the day this video is going up it is a new moon in Pisces it's all about dreaminess and new intentions so I wanted to make a bigger space for that here as well so again kind of like another fun section but not 100% necessary to a weekly spread just a headspace so I made the thing all this to say, I'm really, really, really happy with this. So in the future, for the next week or so, maybe, maybe next week, maybe two weeks, maybe the whole of March, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll, I'll try to share when I, when I decide, but I'm going to continue a layout similar to this that encompasses so many more things than just my daily schedule. This works really well for me though. I will say kind of seeing like, okay, what I'm starting with to what I'm ending with. But at the same time, I kind of want to try to make this more into the daily pages. So having a weekly spread like this showing, okay, what major events I have, and have going on, what workouts I'm planning to do, main tasks, habits, routines, meals, all of that. And then in the daily section, having like instead of doing a list format like I've been doing the past week or so, maybe trying out using some of the washi tapes that I have that have the numbers and doing like a time scale here and doing my hourly things throughout the day in the daily section or the notes pages section since these pages are blank back here. So I may try that out as well, but I really wanted to share this weekly spread with you guys because I was just so inspired after seeing that video and I, I had to share. So yeah. Anyways, I think I'm going to stop here. I, I really just wanted to kind of share that I tried something new and I'm loving it and maybe give you some inspiration if you've been struggling to use your weekly section. I know we kind of all go through these like ups and downs of planner slumps and whatnot. So I always look always on the lookout for things that may re-inspire me to do something different or fall back in love with something I was already doing. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching, for joining me here today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, but have a great rest of your day. Happy Sunday, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.